following is from a cooperative project for acquiring skills essential to learning. Just plain boring. Hopeless, Andrew. Every morning it's the same. We make plans to ride our bikes, and Andrew never wakes up on time. And then we have to take the school bus. and are always mess things up. What a guy. My best friend. The kind of guy you really depend on. The bus is gaining speed. Will he make it? It's going to be close, ladies and gentlemen. The home stretch. It's going to be very close. What's with you anyway? I said I was sorry. But you said that every single morning this week. I just can't wake up in time. But you don't even try. How can I try and wake up if I'm sleeping? Duncan? What? You want to play ball after school? I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Sheesh. You've got a memory like a sieve. My additions after school. My once in a lifetime chance to play in the country rovers. I forgot. So this is the one you've been practicing for? Of course I've been practicing. What do you think? Andrew, have you honestly forgotten about Barnaby's? Jeepers, you're right. I forgot. I start my part-time job today. Ah, oh, thanks for reminding me. McPhee, you're hopeless. Duncan, I want to ask you something. How much time do you usually put in practicing? Every day? Well, I'd say, well, about a half an hour. Oh, except for today. And on weekends, I have to give myself a little break. What kind of practice, Duncan? Well, more or less just play. You know, songs and stuff. I see. Any fingering exercises? Arpeggio? Scales? Yeah. Well, once in a while, I guess. Not all the time. Well, it shows, son. 
I don't mean to be critical, but it does. Duncan, you remember Susan Trubridge? Sure. We both took lessons from you about two years ago. Did she audition too? Yes, early this afternoon. Listen to this. What do you think? She's good. Yes, she is. She's very talented. I guess that's that. I blew it. You have talent, Duncan. But not as much as she has. Sure you do. You play very well. Fact is, you could play a whole lot better if you wanted to. Now, you and Susan started taking guitar lessons at the same time. Came easy for you. But Susan worked hard. Well, I can't blame a guy for trying. I always wanted to play in the country, Rovers. I thought I might have a chance. I want to give you that chance, Duncan. Thanks, Mr. Harper. Maybe Susan will break her finger or move to Stevensville or something. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it quite that way. Well, I don't think you understood, Duncan. We were talking the other night, the band that is, and, well, we were thinking that maybe two guitars wouldn't be such a bad idea at all. But there's a catch. Does that mean I get another chance? That depends. You're going to have to get it all together in pretty short order. And that means hard work, discipline, practice. And you can do it. The question is, do you want to do it? More than anything, Mr. Harper. OK, son. We'll see what happens. The next rehearsal's in two weeks. Bear in mind, we only have six weeks to the country jamboree. I can do it if I work at it. Thanks, Mr. Harper. I won't let you down. Wow, the country rovers. That boy, first day on the job, and already he's half an hour late. Hi, hi, Miss Barmy. I'm. I'm sorry I'm late, and I'll, I'll clean up the mess in a minute. D I'll get right to work. Don't worry, it won't happen again. You can count on me, Miss Barmy. Ten minutes, and I'm going bonkers. I can't, guys. I gotta go home and practice. Don't be a creep, Duncan. We need a running back. Come on. Let's go. Okay. All right. You want to take a walk? Sure. How's your job at Barnaby Store? Well, not so good. I'm on probation. If I'm late again, I lose my job. Well, you only can blame yourself, Andrew. 
Your timing is about as good as a broken watch. Hey, lay off it, will ya? You're not in such great shape yourself. I know. Susan Trowbridge played circles around me. He didn't say anything, but I don't think Mr. Harper was very impressed with me. You were goofing off instead of practicing. I know. Well, you don't have to rub it in. I gotta get back and feed the sheep. You wanna help? Come on, let's go. No, let's bring the sheep up here first. Then we can relax. And have some lemonade? Yeah. And maybe even go on a bike ride. Work first, Andrew, then reward. Mm, OK, it's a deal. Speaking of deals, why don't you make a deal with yourself? Huh? I mean, with your practicing. You want to be on the band, don't you? Yeah. Well, practice your brains out. That's all you have to do. It's not all that easy, you know. Well. I guess it's up to you. But if I were you, i decide what's more important, then go for it. Listen who's giving me advice. Maybe I should make myself a deal. I have to do something. Self-discipline. That's what I need. Sure. I'll practice really hard. And if I stick to it, I'll reward myself. After each practice, I'll do something I really like to do. Watch TV on the 24th. My favorite horse shows at 7 o'clock. And drive the tractor on the 25th. Then comes a jamboree. If I practice really hard every day, half an hour in the morning and half an hour before I go to bed, I should be in pretty good shape. That is if I practice and not just fool around. Duncan, you've just made yourself a deal. Stick to it, and you'll have a chance to be a country rover. The Mr. Moon's on. You want to make some popcorn? Wouldn't you know it. Temptation strikes, and I haven't even started. Uh, no thanks. I gotta practice first. You're no fun. Duty calls. A short game of pinball at Harry's. We can catch a ride home with my dad. I can't. I have to work. I said only a short game. Fifteen minutes. You got time. Come on. Say, I made a deal with myself, too, so that I won't be late to work anymore. I don't believe it. My system works. What's yours? It's foolproof. OK. Tell me about it. What kind of system? Think About is supported by state and provincial agencies working through the Agency for Instructional Television. Together, serving education.